Jim Gaper. Hello, everybody, and welcome to more first round action from Michigan Television here on High School Challenge. We have two terrific teams ready to play, so let's meet our players right away, shall we? First, from Atherton High School, we have Bobby Walls. Bobby is a senior, plays football, roller hockey, baseball, and tennis, an academic letter winner, vice president of the National Honor Society, plans on studying meteorology at Central Michigan University. Nikki Martin is a senior at Atherton, uh, involved with the drama club and the school paper, has an academic letter, plans on attending Eastern Michigan to become a psychologist. Captain of the Atherton team is uh, William Clark. William is a senior, active with drama, choir, and creative writing, has three academic letters, member of the National Honor Society, will also be attending Eastern Michigan or uh, uh, Adrian College to study biology and eventually become a physician. And rounding out the Atherton team is Renee Neff. Renee is a junior, uh, active with dance, choir, and color guard, an academic letter winner, plans on attending Eastern Michigan to uh, become uh, uh, in uh, criminal justice. And that's our team from Atherton High School. Now let's meet the team from Kersley High School. There we have uh, Phil Couts. Phil is a senior, uh, plays chess, he's a musician, plans on attending <coughs> Michigan State and studying cultural anthropology. Captain of the Kersley team is Brad Beagle. Brad's a senior, uh, he enjoys playing chess. He's also a Green Bay Packer fan, my condolences, and is undecided right now on uh, college and career path. Uh, Kersley's uh, next player is Kerry Seitz. Kerry's a junior, plays chess, a member of the National Honor Society, plans on attending the University of Michigan and going on to be a secondary school math teacher. And rounding out the Kersley team is Kevin Ormache. Kevin is a junior, uh, plays chess, active with band, and undecided on college and career path right now. Those are our players for this first round game of High School Challenge. We are judged by uh, Julie Pritchett of Genesee Intermediate School District. Brandy Stoneman is our timekeeper uh, scorekeeper. Teams are ready to go here. Your rules for round one. About to ask you a series of questions worth 10 points apiece. The player buzzing first may answer when I recognize you. If you're correct, your team scores the 10 points. If you're incorrect, the other team gets a shot at the same question. Remember, you may interrupt me at any time I'm asking a question. No point penalties for incorrect answers. However, at that point, I'll repeat the entire question for the other team. Good luck. Here we go. On Wall Street, it's the exchange of one type of securities for another. In football and basketball, it's a successful PAT or free throw. In religion, uh, Kevin Kersley. Uh, extra point. It's incorrect. On Wall Street, it's the exchange of one type of securities for another. In football and basketball, it's a successful PAT or free throw. In religion, it's a change of belief. Uh, Bobby Atherton. Conversion. Conversion is the word I'm looking for. You're practicing the Stanislavski method. In what artistic field are you working? Uh, Nikki Atherton. Psychology. Psychology is incorrect. Kersley. Kersley Brad. Sculpture. Also incorrect, you'd be an actor. Here's your next toss-up. It's a unit of weight equal to two-tenths of a gram, and there are 142.5 to an ounce. What is the measure used for precious stones? Uh, William Atherton? Carrot. Carrot is correct. Some materials will transmit only light waves that vibrate uh, parallel to the alignment of the material. What do physicists call the material and the light? Time's up, it would be polarized. Your next toss up. The demon Beelzebub appears in the title of William Golding's novel about choir boys stranded on a desert island. Uh, Phil Kersley. Lord of the Flies. That's correct. In Greek mythology, it was separated from the land of the living by the river Styx. Uh, William Atherton. Hades. Hades is correct. Quote, persons attempting to find a motive in this narrative will be prosecuted. Per uh, Carrie Kersley. Mark Twain. That's incorrect. 
quote, persons attempting to find a motive in this narrative will be prosecuted. Persons attempting to find a moral in it will be banished. Persons attempting to find a plot will be shot, end quote. What 1884 novel bears this fair warning? Atherton William. Prince and the Pauper. Huck Finn. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Here's your next toss up. Founded in 1900, it included teams from Boston, Baltimore, Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, Milwaukee, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. What's the junior circuit? Time is up. It's the American League of the Major League Baseball. According to the Caribbean natives, it was a spring somewhere to the north that had a rejuvenating effect. Uh, Brad Kersley. Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth is correct. It's eight feet long, four feet wide, and four feet high. What is this unit used to measure wood? Brad Kersley? Cord. Cord is correct. <laughs> On October 2nd, 2004, San Jose State defeated Rice University in the highest scoring NCAA Division I-A football game ever. Within 20, how many points did the two teams combined score? Uh, Brad Kersley. 84. It's incorrect. Atherton. Atherton William. 110. You had to get to 113 before I could accept it. The actual number was 133. San Jose State, 170 to 63. Next toss up. Back, butter, breast, and free. In swimming, that's an IM. What does IM stand for? Uh, Carrie, Carrie Kersley. Intermediate. It's incorrect. Atherton, you may take it. Time's up. Individual medley. Here's your next toss up. In the fifth century, his armies conquered much of Central and Eastern Europe. Who was this Asian king known as the Scourge of God? Uh, Phil Kersley. Attila the Hun. That's correct. Senator Edmund Ross of Kansas is credited with casting the vote that acquitted this man in his trial before the Senate. Who, uh, Bill Clinton? It's incorrect. Senator Edmund Ross of Kansas is credited with casting the vote that acquitted this man in his trial before the Senate. Who was this president, the first to be impeached? Uh, Nikki Atherton. Andrew Jackson? It's incorrect. Andrew Johnson is what I needed. Here's your next toss-up. It's a word <clears throat> formed from the first letters of a phrase like radar or uh, William Atherton. Acronym. Acronym is correct. <laughs> the word comes from the Japanese for empty hand. Uh, Phil Kersley. Karate. That's correct. <laughs> Granite, basalt, and pumice are all rocks formed by the... Uh, Phil Kersley. Igneous. Igneous is correct. <laughs> By the 1930s, farming, drought, and erosion had left the prairies unprotected from uh, Brad Kersley. Dust Bowl. Dust Bowl is correct. <laughs> that green scum on pond water is the most common form of this primitive organ. Uh, Phil Kersley. Algae. Algae is correct. A pianist plays a piano. What instrument does a concert master play? Uh, Bobby Atherton. Cello. Cello's incorrect. Kersley. Kersley. Carey. Clarinet. Also incorrect. Violin. It's the concert master is the first violin in a symphony orchestra. The Statue of Liberty hosted a party on October 4th, 2004, the 100th anniversary of the death of its creator. Who was this French sculptor? Brad Kersley. Bertoli. That's correct. It's a constellation near the South Celestial Pole. It's the Latin word for table. It's a group whose members all have IQs in the top. Uh, Atherton William. Mensa. Mensa is correct. In 2005, the Supreme Court ruled that local governments may force you to sell your home to make room for a Walmart or Target. On what principle was this uh, Brad Kersley? Eminent domain. That's correct. 
Next toss-up teams, the subject of Shakespeare's last play was the father of Queen Elizabeth I. Who was this, uh, Nikki Atherton? James. It's incorrect. This, uh, uh, buzz again? No, uh, Phil Kersley? Henry VIII. Henry VIII is correct. It's a small class of yellow supergiant stars that brighten and dim at regular periods. The brighter the star, the greater the period. What are these stars called? Uh, Kevin Kersley. Pulsars? It's incorrect. Atherton? Atherton. Nikki. Quasars? Also incorrect. Variable stars. Cepheid variables, to be more precise. Here's your next toss-up. These bound axes were the... There's the bell that's going to end the round, um, and uh, let's take a look at our score. It looks as if Atherton trails at this point. So, Atherton, you will go first in round two. That's our 60-second round. About to give you a choice of three categories. Once you've selected, you have 60 seconds to answer up to 10 questions in that category. If you remember, you may consult during this round. No need to buzz in. I'll take answers from William, your team captain. If you don't know an answer, you must say pass before I move on. We'll give you 10 points for each correct answer, a 20-point bonus. If all 10 are correct, once your 60 seconds is up, Atherton, Kersley, you'll have 30 seconds to answer anything they missed, passed on, or didn't get to, and then we'll repeat the process. Atherton, your choices are lots and lots of potpourri, the fabulous 50s, or short people. Short people. Okay, all of the following people, real and fictional, are diminutive in some way. They're all short, tiny, little, wee, and small. And uh, your, each of your answers will contain some sort of word that indicates uh, um, a lesser stature. We begin with number one, E.B. White's Mouse made this his movie debut in 1999. Stuart Little. Correct. Bob Cratchit's crippled son in A Christmas Carol. Tiny Tim. Correct. The, in the original French fairy tale, she doesn't meet the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood. Correct. This rapper's real name is Kimberly Jones. She's serving a little time for perjury. Lil' Kim. That's correct. In the nursery rhyme, she ate curds and whey on a little tuff. Little Miss Muppet. That's correct. One of Robin Hood's merry men, his real name. Little John. Was, that's correct. In Uncle Tom's Cabin, her real name is Evangeline St. Clair. She dies. Pass. Pass. Uh, the Constellation, also known as Ursa Minor. Little Dipper. Incorrect. Uh, this is Malcolm X's name before he converted. Malcolm Little. That's correct. Joe, Beth, Meg, and Amy March in Louisa May Alcott's novel. Little Women. That's correct. And you're through all ten. You have eight out of ten correct for 80 points. Kersley, there are two remaining. Remember, uh, your answers must contain some word that refers to uh, small in stature. First, in Uncle Tom's cabin, her real name is Evangeline St. Clair. She dies. Pass. Uh, the consolation, also known as Ursa Minor. Little Bear. Little Bear is correct. Ten points for you. Uh, the character in Uncle Tom's cabin is Little Eva. And now, Kersley, you choose between lots and lots of potpourri or the fabulous 50s. 50s. Okay, in the 1950s, we liked Ike and we loved Lucy. At least my generation did. For 10 points each, identify these people, places, and things that also made history in the 1950s. We begin with number one. In 1950, war began in this Asian country as Chinese Korea. forced attacked U.S. troops. Korea. That's correct. In 1953, Tenzig Norgay and Edmund Hillary got to the top of this very tall mountain. Everest. That's correct. In 1955, Jonas Salk announced the development of the first Polio. vaccine. That's correct. In 1956, this waterway between the Red Sea and the Mediterranean was seized by Egypt. Suez Canal. That's correct. In 1957, he published The Cat in the Hat. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. That's correct. In 1958, Pope uh, John Paul XXIII became a new one after, I'm going to skip that. In 1959, he led a revolution against, uh, food, uh, against Batista. No. Castro. That's correct. In 1959, this Broadway musical opened with the words, The Hills Are Sound Alive. Oh, Sound of Music. Sound of Music. That's correct. In 1958, Americans brought 100 million of these colorful plastic rings. Pass. In 1957, the National Guard had, uh, had to be sent to this Arkansas city to integrate the schools. Little, Little Rock. Correct. In 1956, he became the only heavyweight boxing champion to retire undefeated. Muhammad Ali. 
That's incorrect. You're through all 10. The one I skipped, I gave away the answer to. So that's why I moved on to an extra question. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, correct. Atherton, you have two more, uh, uh, two opportunities here with 30 seconds on the clock. First, in 1958, Americans bought Hula one. Hoops. Say again? Hula hoops. That's correct. In 1956, he became Sugar the... Sugar Ray Leonard. That's incorrect. In the 50s, it would have been Sugar Ray Robinson, but that would have also been incorrect. It was Rocky Marciano. That's your correct answer there. And with that, we come to the end of round two with a lot of points to total up. We're going to do that before our extra credit. But first, let's meet these folks from Atherton High School. Atherton is coached by Bill Sumner. And with Bill as alternates for today's game are Casey Burry and Brittany Zink. We welcome all of you, and we hope to welcome all of you at home back for some extra credit right after this. Welcome back, everyone. We have a high-scoring game going. We want to get back at that extra credit in a moment, but first let's meet these folks from Kersley High School. Kersley team is coached by Mike Skidmore, and with him are these four alternates today, Justin Eckert, Tim Grant, Chad Mosier, and Katie Ames. We welcome them, and teams, we welcome you to go after some extra credit. In this round, the toss-up question rules are the same as they were in round one. Difference here is that a correct answer earns you 10 points, Plus, it gives your team a shot at 10 points worth of extra credit. Remember, on the extra credit questions you may consult, I'll take the captain's answers on those. But I remind you to consult on extra credit only and not on the toss-ups. When the bell rings at the end, if it rings while I'm in the middle of a uh, toss-up extra credit cycle, we go all the way through that cycle before the game is over. Here we go. In traditional India, your name is your uh, birth, is your job. That's because all uh, Phil Kersley. Cast system. That's correct. Kersley, this is yours. After he returned to Sierra Leone, he became a prosperous trader and some say a slave dealer. Who was this leader of the Amistad Mutiny? Answer, please. No answer. No answer. Sin K is the answer. Here's your next toss up. Charles and Franklin Dorier, John and Horace Dodge, Clement, Henry, John, Peter, and Jacob Studebaker. What did these sets of brothers all make? Uh, Kevin Kersley. Cars? That's correct. <laughs> Kersley, George Herbert, Sir John Suckling, Henry Vaughan, Andrew Marvell. What name has been given to these 17th century English poets? Answer? Magnificent Seven. That's incorrect. They are the metaphysical poets. Here's your next toss-up. He was the great king of Babylon who captured Jerusalem. Uh, Phil Kersley. Nebuchadnezzar. That's correct. <laughs> Kersley, Democrats have their donkey, Republicans their elephant. In 1912, what animal represented the Progressive Party and its candidate Theodore Roosevelt? Almost. That's correct. Next toss-up teams, it borders Burundi, Tanzania, uh, Uganda, and Zaire, and has suffered for years through an ethnic war between Hutus and Tutsis. What is this African country? Uh, Nikki Atherton. South Africa. It's incorrect. Kersley. Kersley. Kevin. Haiti. Also incorrect. Rwanda is the correct answer. The word is Dutch and was used in the Boer War for an organized force of Boer troops. It now refers to any small fighting force trained for quick destruct... Uh, Phil Kersley. Gorilla. Gorilla is incorrect. The word is Dutch and was used in the Boer War for an organized force of Boer troops. It now refers to any small fighting force trained for quick destructive raids. What's the word? Time's up. It's commando. Your next toss up. It's the fraction of Americans who are not just overweight, but obese. Is it one-tenth of the population, one-fourth, or uh, Nikki Atherton? One-fourth. It's incorrect. It's the fraction of Americans who are not just overweight, but obese. Is it one-tenth of the population, one-fourth, or one-third? Uh, Kevin Kersley. One-third. That's correct. 
Obese is more than 20 pounds over your ideal body weight, incidentally. Here's your extra credit, Kersley. It's the science of very cold temperatures, sometimes less than one degree from absolute zero. What is this chilling science called? Answer, please. No answer. No answer. Cryogenics is the answer. Your next toss-up. Two to the third power is eight. What is two to the sixth power? Atherton William? 64. That's correct. <laughs> Atherton, he died in 1893, 10 days after the per first performance of his sixth symphony, which became known as the Pathétique. Who was this Russian composer? Tchaikovsky? That's correct. Okay. Toss-up teams, it's 50 miles long with 12 locks, each 1,000 feet in length and 110 feet wide. Uh, Phil Kersley. Panama Canal. That's correct. <laughs> Kersley, his goal, he said, was not to explain the properties of light by hypotheses, but to propose and prove them by reason and experiments. What English physicist did that in his 1704 classic, Optics? Newton. That's correct. <laughs> Quote, how ridiculous I was when I was a puppet, and how glad I am that I have become a well, uh, Brad Kersley. Pinocchio? Pinocchio is correct. Kersley, this American-born British novelist's main theme was the contrast between naive Americans and sophisticated Europeans. Who wrote The American and the Europeans? Sandberg. Henry James is the answer. Here's your next toss-up. This acid is found in large amounts in grapes and helps give wine. It's uh, Nikki Atherton. Citric. It's incorrect. This acid is found in large amounts in grapes and helps give wine its flavor. Which acid is it? Is it acetic, malic, tartaric? Kersley Carey. Acetic. Tartaric is the correct answer. Your next toss up. He called himself the Prince of Humbugs and in 19, uh, William Atherton. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> No answer, I'll pass it on. He called himself the Prince of Humbugs, and in 1907 he helped create the greatest show on earth with the Ringling Brothers. Who was this empresario? Uh, Phil Kersley. P.T. Barham. That's correct. <laughs> Kersley, will, uh, within only one-twelfth of the world's population, the United States uses about one-third of the world's goods. What phrase did economist Thorsten Veblen coin to describe this behavior? Answer, please. Stockpiling. It's incorrect. Conspicuous consumption is the answer. Here's another toss-up. It's a square that leans to the right. It's an equilateral parallelogram. Uh, Bobby Atherton. Rhombus. Rhombus is correct. Atherton, the largest animal in South America, looks like a pig, but it's actually related to the rhinoceros. What is it? Okay. Answer, please. Hippopotamus. It's incorrect. Taper. T-A-P-I-R is your answer. Here's your next toss-up. In April 1862, after Farragut's ships passed Fort Jackson, this city surrendered without firing a shot, putting the South's largest city in... Uh, Phil Kersley. It's incorrect. In April 1862, uh, Nikki Atherton. Richmond. Also incorrect. New Orleans is the correct answer. Here's your next toss up. To win the jackpot, players must match five numbers chosen from 1 to 49 and a sixth number chosen from numbers 1 to 40. What is this multi state lottery? Uh, Brad Kersley. Mega Millions. It's incorrect. Atherton. Atherton, Nikki. Kino. Powerball is the one I needed. A little different than Mega Millions. Originally a Bantu language of East Africa, it's become a common language for much of Africa. What language is it? 
William Atherton. Swahili. Swahili is correct. Atherton in Franz Kafka's novel, A Surveyor Never Reaches the Home of Count West West, a dismal collection of small buildings packed together above the village. What is this 1926 novel? The only Franz Kafka I've ever read is The Metamorphosis. Okay, I'll try this. The Metamorphosis? It's incorrect, it's The Castle. And behind me you heard the bell, that means our game is over. And uh, what a high-scoring game we had here. Atherton, congratulations to you on a game well played. Good luck in further competition for you throughout the year. Kersley, you'll be stepping on in High School Challenge to meet your next team shortly. Uh, I hope you'll be stepping up with us for more High School Challenge here at Michigan Television. Until then, I'm Jim Gaver. Have a great day. High School Challenge is produced by Michigan Television in partnership with the Genesee Intermediate School District.